What I'm trying to show here is the relationship from the water spreading. Right here, this room is dark for a reason. I'm going to cut the light back on and see. But right here is where the uh, water was leaking. And here's my bed. Okay? I cut the light off so you can see the shadow of the water ring. Okay? Also, there's a ring that runs right here. So this water was not just a simple uh, leak that just popped up and was, uh, you know, taken uh, care of. It had been leaking apparently for a while because this discoloration that you see is not just it being wet. That's, that's going to have a certain effect because it would, it would eventually lighten up if it wasn't damaged. But what's happening here is that water has soaked into this drywall, even the wall here, okay? So much so that it's soaked through. If you look up here, you see this little piece right here that's, that's, that's out? Okay, that's part of where the water broke through the, um, the popcorn ceiling. And so that's what you have going through here. Also, look here. There's a um, there's another band right here of where this water ran. Okay. So this 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 really here is a whole piece. Is what you're seeing. This is a whole piece of drywall. And I'm sorry. I'm I'm doing more so looking with my eyes and looking with the camera. But this was. Like I said, this was in relationship to my bed, all right? And so it started leaking from here, right onto my bed. And so it leaked a long time. So when this guy comes in here yesterday, and he's trying to tell me, well, all I really have to do is poke holes into the ceiling and I'm explaining to him sir you need to do more than just poke holes here's one of the little holes here's a little hole here's a little hole uh, and he put one or two somewhere else that is not where the problem is going to be at this whole piece of drywall has been compromised that's why it's wet like it is and that's why it's soaked through like it did so they put this humidifier in here to dry up all the heat to bring the moisture out and everything else that's fine that's dandy but this drywall has still been compromised and so I'm trying to explain to this guy you guys need to replace the ceiling in here okay again this little line right here that's 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 part of the drywall. So if it got that far over, God only knows, it can, it, it, water's probably gone down on this side of the, of, the, of the wall. It's gone down on the other side of the wall. And so what's gonna happen is, as this thing begins to dry out, all right, mold is gonna set up in here. If it hadn't set up already, not from, them drying out today but from it being set in there from the leak when it started because it this does not this is not like you spill water on the floor and it just leaks through that's not just that's not the kind of leak we're dealing with here this is a, a leak that was continuously running for a while because it would you wouldn't get a spread like this if this was just a simple something spilled over okay the manager of this apartment complex has yet to come into this apartment and look at what has happened here and the only reason why I haven't removed this mattress is because I want them to see where the damage was and she still has refused to even talk to me about whether or not they will replace it okay and that that is that is simply wrong and she continues to lie on me, saying I wouldn't allow them in here to do their job. 
I'm not stupid like that, okay? I'm the one that told them it was leaking. They didn't, they, they, they just, just, just didn't just pop up all of a sudden. I'm the one who called and requested them to come in here. So why would I stand in their way of doing their job, okay? She lies and says that, oh, I wouldn't let the guy put the uh, equipment in. I'm at work when the guy calls me and says to, oh, the guy wants to come on and put the thing in. I'm like, look, the damage is already done, sir. I mean, you got a key. He could come in here and have the guy drop the stuff off anyway. He doesn't need me to be here. The manager has a key. I understand there's an emergency going on with the water leak. I would not have, there was no, nothing keeping them from coming in here to do their job. Because I would be wrong to stand in their way from doing their job. But this is the lie she's telling to, to perpetuate her not doing her job. So, anyway, as I said before, today is Friday, November 13th. This occurred on Sunday, uh, November the 8th. So this is day five or day, well, yeah, day five or day six. It's, it's, it's a nightmare because I'm stuck here trying to hope that someone would come in here and, and, and she would talk to me. But I purposely have the lights off so you can see the damage. This isn't just some little leak. This is major stuff that, had a, that has occurred here. And so, whether or not they choose to acknowledge it, okay, that has nothing to do with me. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.